Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am reviewing this IOT. I'm unboxing it and installing it. So I'm gonna let y'all know what I think about it after I get it installed. And I'm gonna go ahead and open it up now. Okay, let's go ahead and get this box open. And I hope this works because I ordered this off of Amazon probably over a month ago. So this probably cannot be returned. <laughs> but I got this for vlogging and I had not installed it because I hadn't do done my car tour yet. So this is the little holder, phone holder right here. And this is the actual mounting part. This is a little flat. Um, if, if your dash is curved, which mine's is not right here where I want to install it. I'm hoping I can put it right here. But it might be in front of my infotainment center too much. So I'm not sure. But I do not want to put this on my dash because... It could possibly mess up my dash and i just this car is new so i do not want to mess up my dash at all so i'm probably not going to use this if i had an older car and i knew where i permanently wanted to put it that would be a different story so i'm going to save this for another i don't know what but it's not going on my dash and uh let's see it even it even has a notice to um, certain car owners and it's to um, hopefully you can see that 2003 2005 toyota 4runners you got the avalon camry sienna and then you have lexus owners also and it says due to the past vehicle recalls for dashboards that crack peel and become sticky in heat if you have lexus or toyota vehicles from the list below we strongly recommend mounting on your windshield so yeah i don't want to put that i don't have a toyota or a lexus this is not rather a toyota or a lexus and i don't want to i just don't want i don't feel safe putting it on there because it just seems like it will pull up or mess up something on my dash okay so here are the instructions and i've already i already kind of know the you know how to put it together so i'm just going to go ahead and show you all and you do not have to wet it in order to stick it on for the first time. But if you are replacing it in your car somewhere, you want to wet it. It says to reuse the suction cup, simply rinse under warm water and let air dry to restore tacky suction. So what I am going to do, so you can go ahead and follow your directions, but I am going to show you how to put it on. Get it out of the plastic here and get the actual holder out also. We are going to clean the dash and I'm going to take some rubbing alcohol and I'm going to just clean the dash in the spot that I am going to mount it on. Okay, first I'm gonna to try to put it up here. So you take off the little plastic film, the little plastic protection, and you can put it, I'm gonna put it here because it's not going to interfere, shouldn't interfere with me seeing the infotainment center from, from my direction. So I'm going to put it right here. Let me see here. It's sturdy. Okay, what you want to do is go ahead and put that on and then just tighten it up. okay all right so there you go and this is how you operate it you can use one hand to open up the little holder here put your phone in and squeeze it closed 
And then to open it, when you have the phone in there, you just want to do like that. Okay, then you have to pull this lever up, turn this and, you know, kind of angle it up so you can get to this. You push that down so the suction is tight. And then you can go ahead and position your phone in. And see, I kind of don't like that right there because it will block my infotainment center. So but anyway, let's see what it looks like. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Hopefully I have it in view decently. Okay, because I don't have the front, the face, the front facing camera, so I can see it. Um, but anyway, that's what it's looking like. And let me turn it around to front facing. Okay, so that's what it looks like with the front facing camera on. I don't like the front facing camera though. It just looks blurry and all of that. I don't care for that too much. But oh well. I'm gonna try to put it in my windshield somewhere and see if I like it. Or I'm gonna try to put it on my dash over there. Bear with me. Okay, to unsuction it, you just lift it up. Then from the back, you can pull this little plastic thing here, pull it, and then, okay, now I'm gonna put it on my glass, my windshield, see how that looks. So now I am going to wipe that with alcohol and and i'm going to stick that there i'm going to push the little lever down that makes a suction i'm going to turn it this way and i'm going to show y'all what it looks like okay that's what it's looking like from my angle okay and it's in there. And from the angle of the windshield, this is what it looks like. Um, so it blocks a little bit of your view, but it's not bad, you know, or anything. So we might be able to do that and be okay. Uh, let me see if I want to put it up a little bit further. Let me see how that'll do. Ooh, that was a no-go. That would block the passenger's view. Okay, so the... IOT is very nice. Um, it is, it suctions very well, just with the, the suction. It, I don't even have to have this little thing on there, but it suctions very well and you can get it off, but it's not just gonna come off super easy. So if you want good suction, the IOT is top notch and maybe the vlogging camera for you or whatever you need it for. So the link is down in the description box below this video. It'll take you straight to Amazon to this product. And I hope you like it if you get it. I hope you like it. Let me know. All right. Bye.